Hey guys, it's Dee from Dee's Divine Guidance here for the Halloween full moon in Taurus. So let's go ahead and see what is happening. If you haven't already, please make sure you subscribe to the channel. I do have new moon, full moon readings coming out every single month, as well as the monthlies and also live videos every Tuesday at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So make sure you hit the subscribe button with a little bell notification to get notified of when all of those come out. All right, so Halloween full moon. Who's excited? Let me know down below. Say excited in the comments if you guys are excited to have a full moon on Halloween. You know, it only happens um, every 18 to 19 years. So it's not that common to actually have a full moon. So excited to see what this is bringing in for us. For some of us, it's definitely going to be a lot of changes I'm seeing already. Um, just remember these are general readings, so please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. You can check out your monthly signs. They are up for the month of November. Ooh, pretty good energy. All right, so let's see what is happening. We've got the judgment card here as the overall energy for this full moon. And this is really about, you know, letting go of judgment on yourself letting go of judgment on others and kind of like living your life peaceful. Like in this deck, you can see like this is actually a beautiful card, but in order to get here, you've got to let go of that judgment. So definitely letting go of judgment. So let me ask you that question right now for this full moon. When you're doing your full moon ritual, well, you, you can find that on my channel as well. I bring you through a full moon ritual, but who are you judging? Are you judging yourself? Are you judging somebody else? And it was funny that this card came out because I was going to pull my four agreement deck. And, you know, one of the agreements in that deck is about assumptions. And it's like, who are you judging because you're assuming something about them? Maybe they're doing something that you think they're doing, but you really 100% don't know. And who are you judging for that? Okay. So overall energy, watch the judgment. Now, We've got the Queen of Wands, we've got the Page of Pentacles, and we've got the Nine of Wands here. So this is really about stepping into your power here with this moon. It's about giving yourself the chance to let go, because the full moon is really about releasing, but it's like let go of everybody else right now and really just focus on you. And when I say let go, I mean like stop thinking about them, stop trying to help them, try, stop trying to um you know figure out what they're thinking or, or whatever like just let go of all of that and like literally spend the three you know the full moon is good three days prior three days after so like spend a whole week like just thinking about yourself and it's it's kind of funny that we say this because when you do that there's a tower moment that is going to happen but in this tower moment it's going to lead you to your future and it's going to lead you to a new relationship. So when you let go of all of that negative energy of focusing on other people and judging other people or worrying if they're judging you and just let it all go. It's this tower moment, right? These are the moments that define you. These are the moments that grow you. Because when you have something that you feel is falling apart, you know, you either try to force it so much that it breaks anyway, or you let go. And that's what needs to happen with this full moon. So definitely about, you know, releasing what is not working. And especially whoever this is that you're judging, it's time to like, let it go. And I always say like, do you want to be right? Or do you want to be happy? And you know, I've had to do this several times in my life here where it's like, I just want to be happy. And I don't want to hold regret. And I don't want to hold resentment. And I don't want to so i'm just letting go and that's what this is all about here because there is this future here that looks bright and shiny but you've got to leave stuff in the past you got to let it fall away if you want to get it if you want to get there all right so you've got the two of cups here again a new relationship now this could be a romantic relationship friendship but this also could be relationship with yourself and where when you let go of this you start to Again, take your power back here with the Queen of Wands energy and kind of set your boundaries and know, you know, protect yourself. And this is about what do you want in your life now? Stop trying to live to other people's expectations. And that's what this Two of Cups is about. It's about growing your relationships, but the relationships that are 
like universally guided, basically, you know, having this white light between the two of you. This is like your soul tribe. Um, and again, could be anything, romantic, friendship, coworkers, it really doesn't matter, but it's like surround yourself. Like just look at this light here after the tower, after the tower. And especially with light workers, let me know if you guys are light workers, but um, especially with light workers, like light workers come from the dark. Light workers come from this tower moment. Because we've went through this, we can now spread our light and share our light and use our light to guide other people. And that's what we're here to do, okay? And you can see this light here. So it's after this comes the light. Now, you've got the Five of Pentacles here also with the Knight of Wands. And you've got the Unknown card. So to me, you know, the Five of Pentacles is about feeling kind of left out a little bit, kind of neglected. Um, but you've got the Knight of Wands coming towards it. So somebody might be coming towards you that is going to help you you know, with this feeling of um, comfort. I'm, I'm feeling a lot of comfort. So again, this could be a friend, a person, like whatever, does not matter, but somebody could be coming to you to comfort you and to guide you through the unknown because right here you've got the unknown. I'm going to go ahead and clarify this card. But um, what do we need to know about the unknown card here for this full moon? Let's see. Yeah, so nervous about change. So that exactly, this is a lot of change, especially with the Tower card. This is a major arcana, so this is definitely like life-changing stuff here. So if you let it with this full moon, you can literally change your life by letting go of some things and healing. Um, I do have some energy healing spots open if you want to check out my website. But you're nervous about change, so therefore that's the unknown because you don't know what's about to come after this tower card. Because obviously the light doesn't automatically just show up. You know, you've got to do some work to get it there to heal yourself. And that's what this unknown card and this four of cups here is about. is about letting go of being nervous and fearful of the change because you've got this knight of wands coming your way. So you're going to have someone there to help you through whatever you're letting go of here. I'm going to pull about three more cards they're telling me here with this. See, that judgment card came up again. Yeah, totally. Okay, so love this. We've got the judgment, putting the past to rest. Need I say more? Putting the past to rest, judgment, two judgments coming up. So who are you judging? Who is judging you? Who are you scared that's judging you? You also got the moon, full moon, yearning, desire. You're yearning to have something different. You're yearning to feel something different. So trust in that. Definitely trust in that. And then you've got the Empress card. So fertility and sensuality, but it's time to take care of you. It's time to let go of others. And like I said in the very beginning, like let this week, like this week, like literally, you don't have to do it forever, but like even just a couple of days, like literally don't worry about anybody else except yourself. Do what you want to do for just a few days and see how your energy shifts. Don't talk to anybody, you know, don't be on social media, like literally just do nothing and do you. Okay, whatever you like to do, like go out and do that and don't worry about anybody else at this point, even your children. I mean, obviously make sure they're taken care of, but definitely focus on you. Okay. This, I just feel like this full moon is so um, special and I feel like it is so crucial that we pay attention to the lessons that are given to us in this full moon specifically. Because I feel like whatever's happening in this full moon is going to catapult us into 2021 and it's going to either make or break that year for you. So if you don't learn the lessons here that the universe has been giving us for the last nine months, like 2021 is not going to be the best year for you. But if you learn the lessons, you can now move into this year a different person, um, a more calm, a more... Um, you know, peaceful, non-fearful person. And that's what this full moon is, is going to bring here is what I'm feeling. See? Abundance. Abundance. This full moon is going to bring you abundance if you learn the lessons you're supposed to learn. Acceptance. 
Accept where you are. Accept that people will judge you. They will always judge you. But let go of it because what does it really matter if other people are judging you? Because they're judging you through the eyes of their, their own beliefs, their own past. So what does it really matter? Focus on you and how you feel about yourself. And there we go. We got the victim card. So stop playing victim. We're going to give you a little bit of tough love here. Stop playing victim. You are not a victim. You are a thriver. You are a survivor. No matter what you have been through, and believe me, I work with women that have been through a lot, um, a lot of abuse, a lot of sexual abuse, mental abuse, physical abuse, um, so many crucial, um, really bad things. But the victim card here, it's like you got to get out of that victim mode. And that might be what is this tower card is like you're letting it all go. You're just letting it all go. All right. So this is the uh, solar plexus chakra. This is the root chakra. And this is the heart chakra. So definitely work on those three chakras um, for this full moon coming in. All right, what questions can we ask ourselves for this full moon coming in here? Love these. Okay. So the first question we have is, what expectations do I have that are impossible to meet? The expectations we have are mostly delusional, delusional and impossible to meet. When, excuse me, let me start over. The expectations we have are mostly delusional and impossible to meet. We then experience disappointment with ourselves or with a relationship when they are not met. It's time to dissolve your expectations and replace them with gratitude. So today's soul action, be grateful. You are being summoned to more peace. Peace is home for our soul and it is accompanied by trust. It comes when you surrender and focus only on what you can control. If you expect nothing and are grateful for everything, you will experience extreme fulfillment. Oh, I love expectations. Expectations. They will make or break you, right? When you set your expectations too high, or even when you have any expectations, when you, with this tower card and this full moon, if you can let go of expectations, your life will drastically change because you won't be so um, triggered by people not meeting them. So let go of those expectations. This is why we judge, right? Because they're not meeting our expectations of who we think they should be or how they, we think they should act or anything. So this full moon is about letting go of expectations. And then our other question for this full moon is, do I believe I am worthy? And it says, you are worthy, you are deserving, you are loved. Start seeing the divine beauty within you and go out and claim the life you have dreamt up. Your crown has been bought and paid for. Put it on your head and wear it. Today's soul action, for a big goal or dream you have, ask yourself, do I feel worthy of this? And today's mantra, I am worthy of it all. So I absolutely love this um, for us for this full moon here coming in. So definitely enjoy it. Um, I do have a few more spots left in my From Pain to Power mentorship for the month of October and November. So if you want to see if you're a good fit to work together to really heal your childhood traumas and also release your energy from the past, past relationships, get over toxic relationships and really step into your own power and find yourself again and know who you are. Um, you can find out if you're a good fit for it down in the description box or in the comments below. But I really want you to have a wonderful full moon. Like we need to use these full moon. Definitely check out my full moon ritual on the, um, on my page here, but totally like Literally, if the only thing you do out of this full moon is let go of your expectations, your whole life will change. All right. So much love to you. Enjoy this. Happy Halloween. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Much love. Bye.